Welcome everyone to the second best um, news source on YouTube. I'm Rob, your host, and this is Rob News. So, today's topic, I'm just going to try to keep it a bit short, uh, it's just one topic, I know news shows are supposed to have more than one topic, but I'm just trying to keep this nice and short, I don't have much time to get a video out, so yeah. I was not planning on making a video for another maybe half a week actually, but after what happened yesterday, the day I'm recording this, um, I found an opportunity that's pretty hard to miss out on. So, yesterday on October 17th? Yeah, I guess October 17th, um, Mr. Beast hosted the Creator Games 2, or you already know where this is going. Um, it was an influencer trivia competition. It was pretty interesting to watch. There were YouTubers, there's Instagram people, I don't know what you'd call them, other, other people like that. Um, and so was, I watched the first bit of it, and then I went over to my friend's house to eat pizza. Uh, yeah. So, I was watching the beginning of it, I just saw the KSI round and the George not found around. Um, but, spoiler, spoiler alert, um, if you don't want to, if you want to watch the video, like, if you want to watch the stream thingy, or the video when Mr. Beast comes out with it, if you want to watch that first, go watch that first, because I'm just going to tell you who won. The D'Amelio's, Dixie D'Amelio won, or should I say, the D'Amelio's won. Because it was all four of them when it was only supposed to be Dixie D'Amelio and maybe Charlie. I know I dragged that on a bit, but um, if you don't know who the D'Amelios are, Charlie D'Amelio is a famous TikToker, I guess. Um, I do not like TikTok and I do not like what people do on TikTok because I don't think people should make money by doing by making 15 second unoriginal dance clips. I don't think they should be paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for that, surprisingly, I know. Dixie D'Amelio is getting into the music industry, and she's a singer. She came out with a song called Be Happy, and it is a terrible song in my opinion. I know I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but I'm just not very fond of it. Anyway, the event, it was a trivia competition, I think I said that before. It was for $300,000, which is a lot of money. It was sponsored by The Croods 2 or something, I think that's what the movie's called. An ad plays before it, and it's like the only ad that plays during the entire three hour and four minute, just about five minute, um, live stream. I actually have it on my computer in the background, and I'll have to record what's actually going on in it, because I can't really screen record as of right now. Um, and so yeah. I'm gonna show you a clip right now of an example that could have been classified as cheating. I'm gonna do air quotation marks, because it doesn't mean it's cheating, but I certainly think it's unfair. Here, this is the first round that they were playing, that the Demilios were in. You can see it's the dad up there. I think it's Dixie, that's Charlie and the other one. And here's Preston. So immediately, you can see it's a four versus one. Does that seem very fair to you? Um, yeah, no, I don't think that's very fair. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip. I'm gonna make it a bit louder for you guys. Here we go. Number one selling chocolate candy. Yeah. Good old Eric with the fast timer. Do you see anything suspicious in that clip? Yeah. You can see the parents, especially the mom, going behind Charlie's head and whispering the answer. That doesn't seem like it should be allowed. So I analyzed this because before I couldn't finish doing this because I had to go to my sister's softball games and it was not very fun. Uh, so I took notes on this actually, and so let me read them to you. So Demilio's versus Preston. Demilio's win fair and square for the first one for the first question, but for the second question, as I just showed you, you could see the mom go behind Charlie and then they said the answer. I thought you could see Charlie's phone, but it just turned out to be the eraser. Um, and on the third question, both parents talked behind the kids, and the D'Amelios won. And then Courage, one of the commentators, actually made- he actually said something about that in the next round. They never really, like, said you couldn't do that, but it was only supposed to be, um, like, two people max. 
I'm sorry, but I don't really think that the D'Amelio parents are influencers. Like, I don't really see them grinding out here on their YouTube and their OnlyFans or anything. That wasn't even the only instance of an apparent cheating. Um, you could apparently see some of their phones at multiple times. Um, in the final round, it was actually somewhat fair because Dixie was the only one that was actually there. Just how it was supposed to be. So the final one was fine. I think they won that, like, okay, like, fair and square. But up until that, it was a 4v1. There was a 4v2 at one point. But, like, still, it's... It's, that's not, if you don't know, on the Rob News Show, I like to give my opinion on whatever I cover. Here's my opinion. I don't think this should have been allowed. I think Mr. Beast or Jimmy and Courage should have said something about this in the beginning. Um, and that it, it's just not fair. They didn't earn the $300,000. The, the parents were giving them the answers. If... Parents who hadn't been there, and they shouldn't have been there, they probably would have gotten out in the first, maybe the second round. And so that's what I think, personally. I don't think that it's okay, and I just feel bad for Jimmy, because he worked so hard to put all this on, only for a cheating family, well, maybe cheating family, to get the money. Do I think that they cheated? I, I, it's not out of the realm of possibility. I think there's a higher chance they did cheat than they didn't cheat. Because it was definitely unfair. But, yeah. Alright, that's my opinion. If you want to subscribe, feel free to. I'm getting somewhat close to 110 subscribers. Um, there, yeah, that's all. Peace.